he went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pre pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them said Peter. Have you ever pretended to be your father or your mother? Hmm? Yeah, I bet you have. Cat? Me? I don't know what that is. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then, he tried to run away from his shadow. There's a shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. Okay, the end. So, this genre was a fiction. It was a story. It wasn't about a real person. But it's called realistic fiction because it could really happen. So that is called realistic fiction. What problem did Peter have? Peter could not, what, whistle, right? How did Peter solve his problem? What did he do? to solve it, to fix it, to make it right. He practiced. He stood in front of the mirror and watched himself. He really worked hard at being able to whistle. He blew and he blew and he blew. And then he could finally whistle. What other sounds could Peter use to get Willie's attention? Mm, think about that. Come up with some answers. <laughs>